Good afternoon. It is afternoon, just 12.30 p.m. here on a Sunday. And the weather is still very pleasant in Bangkok. We still have that fresh, cool breeze. So today I want to talk about an incident I experienced a few days ago and some of the thoughts this has led me to have. It's a bit noisy in the park today. We have some activity I'm not quite sure. Let's hope this is not going to interfere with your ability to hear me clearly. So what happened a few days ago? On one of my walks I met a young Thai man, aged 19, who told me he was studying music. In particular he was studying guitar at a music school near Tamasad. On inquiring more about what he was doing, he told me that he was doing a five-year degree in guitar, which really surprised me. I know absolutely nothing about guitars and little about music, but it seems amazing that it would take five years to achieve a degree in music or playing guitar. We spoke and walked for quite a while and I could see he was very keen to improve his English. However, he really had very little English. Even simple sentences in English he couldn't understand. I could ask a question, for example, what is your name, how old are you? and he could only answer with single word answers and when I tried to use a slightly more difficult sentence he was unable to understand. This made me feel sorry for him in several ways. Firstly because I could see clearly that he now realized at the age of almost 20 that English was extremely important for him but to learn it now at this age would take extraordinary motivation and hard work and I think the fact that his English was so poor indicated that really he did not have the motivation to do this. This made me feel angry about the education system and made me wonder whether teachers and schools should be far stricter with young children. I can imagine what happened in the classroom when he was very young, maybe seven or eight years old, and they were having an English class. He may have been playing with his friends, not paying attention to the teacher. The teacher would probably have been talking in time most of the time and talking about grammar rather than trying to engage the children in English conversation. There would have been almost certainly too many students in the classroom. The children would again almost certainly have been talking Thai with each other and even with the teacher and this would have been very poor beginnings for someone trying to learn a second language. Now that he is almost 20, he, he had lost the possible foundation of English which would have made it easy for him to now improve himself. It is very important to get that foundation as a young child in basic listening and speaking which will be deeply imprinted on your memory and will make improving your language skills as an adult quite feasible. 
So I think the education system failed this young man and has massively damaged his future. Then I can also question the idea of spending five years doing a degree in music or guitar. He told me that he hoped to get a job as a music teacher on graduation, which may be possible, but it hardly seems like a great start for a young man's career. I'm sure lots of young guys want to be pop stars, music legends, but the day-to-day -day routine of teaching English to a classroom full of kids who may not be that interested may not exactly be a fulfilling profession. I also then have to criticize educational institutes which offer degrees which may make them money either directly from the students or by some subsidy from the government but really are a very poor choice for a young person and we can't expect young people to really understand the pros and cons of pursuing different subjects in their education. Young people have lots of ideas but many of them will be unrealistic, maybe closer to daydreams than reality. So the adults who are running and managing the educational institutes need to take more responsibility for directing students in the best way. I really feel quite sorry for this young guy because his life has hardly begun but I can envisage a dim future, perhaps a slow process of disillusionment and frustration ending up with him becoming another part of the educational establishment and maybe repeating the mistakes which adults had previously made with him. So what in my opinion should have happened in the classroom when he was a child Maybe they should have had a strict rule about speaking Thai in the classroom, for example, and once the children had the basics of English, they would be punished or penalized for speaking Thai. The teachers also should have tried to quickly abandon using Thai and move to using English. There should have been strict control of children's behavior so naughty children should have been punished or put into separate groups. Male children I think have a special problem in regard to learning English which is that they are afraid to be embarrassed more so than girls because of the culture which pressures boys to be manly. Boys may be less willing to speak in the classroom because they're more afraid of being laughed at. So the teacher should pay particular attention to this problem. Nowadays, unfortunately, schools seem to have become far more liberal than they were in the past and don't want to be too strict or to punish children and the parents are in many ways responsible for this parents will complain if their children are treated too harshly and I've noticed in Thailand there is a strong culture of parents spoiling their kids spoiling them meaning trying to do only what the kids want to do rather than realizing that the the parents have a responsibility to sometimes force the kids to do things even if they hate it but i think i reserve the greater criticism for the educational institutes 
which focus maybe on things like reputation, examination grades, and pursuing profit rather than concentrating on real education. I remember when I went to university, or rather before I went, I was looking at the different courses offered by the universities and there seemed to be an enormous variety, almost too many to choose from. And I was really overwhelmed by the choice. And I am sure this must be a problem for many other young people deciding what to do at university. But is this really a good thing to offer so many different subjects? Is it really helpful to the students or is it only helpful to the university in terms of their popularity and profit-making ability? Should they really be encouraging students to take degrees which may not be that useful for their careers? And also continuing to reinforce the belief that just having any degree at all will make you successful in life. Just getting that certificate and taking those wonderful graduation pictures, dressed up in your, gra in your gown, looking proud, do students pay too much attention to this and not really what they are learning at university? I think the unfortunate truth in Thailand is that many students go to university for the prestige and fun they will have during those few years rather than really wanting to learn something useful. When I look back on my years at university, they were certainly fun and I did learn some stuff, but to be honest, I feel that what I have learned in real life since graduating has been a million times more useful. Bye for now.